What's up guys? So today I'm going to show you how to make a random walk in SDL. This is a fairly easy program to do because all I'm doing here is I am just getting a direction from a random number generator. Then I am moving the pixel around on screen, changing the color based on direction. So if this is the kind of video you want to watch, stay tuned and I will see you there. Okay, so let's get started. First, we're going to need STL2. Uh, then I'm going to need to include the random library for C++. Okay, so let's uh, create our window. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to define the origin, so the beginning point of our random walk. As we're walking, we want to define the starting point, and the starting point is going to be um, x and y. So I'm going to define two variables, int x and int y, and they're going to act as the starting point of our random walk. And I'm going to initialize them to, um, I would say, 25. So I want them to be in the center of the screen when we begin. Okay, so next up, we want to create a random number generator. Okay, so the next thing we need is going to be the while loop. This random number is going to be from 0 to 4. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to take a value. And what, and what we're going to do with this is we're going to take a number randomly. So we're going to take a random number and assign it to a variable called direction. Okay, and then we're going to switch on this number to determine how we're going to update the variables x and y. So we're going to say switch. And we're going to say case zero. And we're going to, if the case is zero, what we want to do is we want to decrease both X and Y. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up and to the left. And I'm just going to write out the other cases. Okay, so what we did is we defined four cases, and what these cases essentially do for us is uh, if we land on one of the four numbers that the random number generator is going to generate for us, what's going to happen is uh, we are going to either go up and to the left, down to the left, uh, up to the right, or down to the right. So uh, pretty much, actually I forgot to do breaks. I don't think I need breaks, but I just like to add them. So pretty much what we're doing is we're updating the values X and Y to uh, just move around on the screen. Okay, so next up, what we have to do is we have to set a draw color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the draw color to be white. And this is going to be set to 255, 255, 255, 255. Uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a point. So I'm going to say STL, render, draw a point. And I'm going to pass in my render. Then I'm going to pass in X, Y. And uh, finally, we're going to present this to the screen. Okay, uh, and finally, what we have to do is we have to handle the case if... Uh, our point, so if our x, y leaves the screen, then what do we do? And uh, the way I'm going to handle this, I'm just going to reset it back to default. So I'm going to say if x is greater than 50 or uh, x is less than 0 or y, actually, y is greater than 50 or y is less than 0, uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to say x is equal to 25 and y is equal to 25. And finally, we're going to have a little STL delay down here. Okay, so that's, uh, yeah, so this is about 50 lines of code. So let's compile this and see what we got. And there you go, that's a random walk.
Okay, so now that we have that, let's uh, try to uh, color it something else. So depending on which direction it's going to go, let's uh, change the color a little bit. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, set draw color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this by the direction. So I'm going to say, so I'm going to say 60 times dir and then modulo 255. Let's just copy this to the rest. Okay, so now we have basically the same thing, except the colors are different depending on which direction, depending on which direction we're moving. Okay, so that's pretty much it. If you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you later.